Well, it's it's a great win. Um, it's a big win for us, for you know a number of reasons. Obviously, uh, for our senior class on senior night with their families here and kept the unbeaten streak at home alive, and uh, you know it just shouldn't hurt our pairwise, right? You know, so uh, you know no game's perfect. So they're a really good team. They took us to us in the third. You know, four nothing lead. I think we just uh, we just lost our intensity and our focus. Uh, looked like looked like a team that wanted it easy, and they, and they capitalized on it. They're they're really good. You know, uh, obviously that that third period, there were some things about that 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 didn't want to You got the regular season kind of wrapped up. Mm -hmm. Twelve people in the today. What I guess, I guess how do you do you want the guys to back off and turn on? You know, you turn it on and turn it off. How do you keep them maybe motivated for the last couple? Is that true? They, they've been really professional. They've been great in practice. Um, you know, Monday through Thursday, they work work really, really hard. And um, we had a meeting with our seniors on Monday, and, and you know, we have a four game segment here that we have a lot to play for. So, um, you know, they're just focused, and you know, they're kind of going day to day. They're really professional in that regard. We have had, haven't had to deal with it much as a staff. With these guys. Um, there's still a lot to play for. When you're talking to the seniors, how do you present that? What you know? What yeah, we we thought we, we might want to set some goals for the last four games in regards to uh, just keeping guys focused. But at the end of the meeting, it was like, you know what, let's just keep doing what we're doing. Um, you know, I, th I think the pairwise is what's, you know, we can get that large uh, bid if we keep this up. And obviously that'll that'll keep us going. And that's the biggest thing for you guys, right, is the, the pairwise at this particular stage. I mean, the rankings are all great, you know, public relations-wise, obviously, but... You know, depending on what happens in your own tournament, pairwise is probably the most important thing for you guys. For, for these last three games, that's how we're looking at it. And you know what? When you're playing uh, in your pod and, and the rivalries that we've created with Mercyhurst and last week was Robert Morris, the weekend before was Canisius, um, you know, we need to be ready. And, and for the most part, our guys, our guys have responded. I mean, you know, our first two periods, I was very pleased with our team. I thought it was, you know, I thought we played great. Uh, good senior class, six guys, and uh, finished it up on a pretty, not a perfect note, but a pretty positive note tonight. I think two of them scored, maybe three guys, and to finish the home season undefeated. That's, uh, that's huge. And, and it goes back, uh, I think, seven games from last year as well. So we're creeping up on the, you know, we did the 22 game on beating streak, which was fifth, fifth, fifth best ever. Uh, we're creeping up on that. But you know what? Uh, Danny had a big goal, Jason had a big goal, Giancarlo scored. So. Um, you know, you, this is the time of year that you go. We're going to go as far as our seniors will take us, and they were terrific, obviously. Mark, when you look at uh, the, the first two periods, what, what do you like about where your team's at now, and what do you maybe need to tweak these last couple games going into playoffs? Um, we just need to finish it. We need to play better uh, for 60 minutes. Mm -hmm. You know, I thought for 40 minutes, you know, executed everything that we wanted to do. We got pucks deep, we got pucks on net. Uh, I thought we finished all our checks, and then you know when you get up and you, you have a lead like that, you start looping instead of stopping and starting. I didn't think we finished checks like we should. So you know, just the little details that you know, are going to win you a championship. You can't just turn on and off. Jason, I wanted to ask you a little bit about the third period. Obviously, they're a little bit more of a desperate club, and uh, was it a combination that maybe outworked you guys a little bit, or did you have some technical X and O's breakdowns, or maybe a, a, a combination of the both and you know did you guys talk about that after in the room that you know we can't give a good club like that even a little bit of an open well that's the thing I mean they're they're a good hockey team so they're going to show up they're going to come out and battle so it's one of those things that going into a third period they're down you know they're going to be desperate and it's about attention to details and so that's something that we'll continue to work on and guys will continue to progress and that sort of thing and we can continue to look forward to the end of the season and moving forward into playoffs and that sort of thing and so it's just building on those things and learning from the stakes at this point can you guys and, and just can you talk about you know it's you guys wrap up the regular season championship you do the whole trophy thing tonight you know your number one seed you know you know exactly kind of where you're at so what keeps you motivated what what goals that I talked about Mark the first that's what goals do you set to keep to keep the team focused these these, these last four games um, playing for basically yeah you know I, I think everybody knows that uh, it, we just kind of checked one thing off our, our list this year in terms of uh, what we wanted to do so. I mean, there's there's still that uh, that playoff championship and going to the to the NCAA tournament. So uh, I think everybody knows right now now where we sit in the uh, pairwise. So as long as we finish these uh, next three games hard, uh, we're gonna we're gonna put ourselves in a good position. So that's what keeps us going, and we just remind the guys every day about that.
And you got the game winner on senior night. Pretty cool feeling for you. Yeah, definitely. That was actually uh, the first time my parents actually got to, to watch a game here. So that was extra, extra special. So that was nice. Definitely. Really, this is the first game you're Yeah, so, yeah, I, uh, I'm from St. Louis, so I live pretty far. I'm, I'm not a teacher, so she never got a chance to come out here. So that was, uh, it was definitely special to do it in front of them the first time they got to uh, come out here. So. Nice. Jason, can you just follow up with a question that I asked about kind of keeping focus and keeping and, and what you guys are, are playing for right now? Yeah, it's momentum. It's uh-huh. about confidence. It's about moving on to the next thing. And I think we have a room there that believes that we can win. And so it's just come out, coming out every night and doing it. And so coming out, winning, getting that momentum, getting that confidence going into the next stretch, I mean, that's a big thing for this team, and we know that. And so it's just continuing to move forward with that belief. Because I know you guys are talking about the pairwise, but your destiny is still in your own hands, right? Yeah. We're going into the conference tournament. So is it just a matter of solidifying that, doing it, and then, that, like you said, that momentum going in? Right, yeah. I think it's just not even, not even the fact positioning ourselves in the pairwise, just carrying that momentum in the playoffs. You know, you don't want to – take three games off and then say, oh, now we're going to turn it back up. You need that momentum to carry you into the playoffs and have everybody going uh, as one. So, you know, it's definitely important these, these next three games. We're not going to look past anybody.